Hello, my name is Mark. Today I'm going to share with you the OpenWords web app and the OpenWords lesson builder. I'm going to do this really quickly, so this will be a brief introduction. Currently, the OpenWords web app is prepared for classroom testing, but not general release. The first thing I'd ask you guys to do is to take a look at the subscribe button at openwords.com. Um, if you go to subscribe, uh, we will let you know major updates on the OpenWords progress in web app, lesson builder, anything like that. So the OpenWords web app is available at openwords.com and um, let's just log in. So I have already registered an account. So you can log in. And the very first screen has all of the courses. Currently we're testing, so the courses are not filtered in any way. Um, and so there are just a large number of courses that are coming in. And if we get a lot of users, we'll obviously have some sort of search and filter. But at the moment, we have a few example courses. And this gives you a sense of the kinds of problems that you'll see in the OpenWords web app. So I'll go to example course, which is something I prepared for this video. Let's take a look at lesson three. So this is a simple, a simple review problem where you can see a Chinese character for cat, the English word, and in this case, the pinyin. And obviously, because it's a review problem, you have, you get that right. This is a simple sentence problem. Here you have an L1, language one problem, and you need to construct the sentence in the second language. And in this case, we don't type the problem out, but we have the elements available for us, and we try to get the answer correct. So I'm going to start with this. Oh, well, that looks like it's wrong. So it is red and underlined. In this case, we get immediate feedback. I think the next sh and and mao. Then we get then we get that immediate feedback on getting that answer correct. And this is a conjugation problem. It's a different language, but this is this is French, but I'm just providing these examples to illustrate what open words can do. Um, and this is a simple, also a simple fill in the blank, but we are teaching conjugation. So the correct answer, I think, is that. And in this case, we got all correct. We can go back to this one. So that is a quick, a very quick illustration of a couple of the type cut types of problems that you can view and take on the OpenWords web app. Um, this is mobile compatible. You can use the OpenWords web app on iPad, Android, or as you can just see on a laptop or desktop. There are many more types of problems that are in development, but you can see that we have sentence construction problems, simple review, we're working on hearing problems, and fill in the blank and conjugation problems. So a number of relatively straightforward problems that are needed for any language. Now, 
I'm going to show you the Open Words Lesson Builder, which allows the instructors or instructors to create, to creatively generate a large number of different kinds of problems. And so that is also here at openwords.com on the Lesson Builder. So if you click on that link, it will bring you to another page at openwords.org slash lesson slash lesson.html. This is the Open Words Lesson Builder, and it provides three examples to begin with. Problem one is a, a fill in the blank, and you can see it says today is Monday, it has two blanks, two correct answers, and four incorrect answers. And we have seen this problem before. Problem two, I am a cat, four blanks corresponding to the four correct sentence elements, some wrong answers as well. And we've seen this problem as well. So if you want to create new problems, you can go to the lesson builder, probably want to delete the old problems first, or the example problems, and then you're at the, the basic element of the uh, lesson builder. So you click on this drop down to specify what problem type you want. I recommend trying simple review, simple multiple choice, or simple sentence first, and then later you, we can work on advanced fill in the blank. This is a little bit more challenging to use, but you can do sentences, multiple choice, or review without much trouble. Hearing multiple choice is still under development. So let's start with simple review. So this is very simple. We can do the word or sentence in the native language. Let's do cat and gato. That's a very simple problem, obviously. That's uh, Spanish for cat. If this were Chinese, perhaps we could put the pinyin here. And that's all there is to it. You save that problem. And it provides a screenshot of what that might look like. And then you can go on to the next problem. I'm going to do this problem in French. Uh, let's do simple sentence. I hope I'm going to do my French. I hope this my French is is is. Uh, I hope I do this right. I am a cat, period. Now let's construct a simple French sentence problem. The, now we are going to construct the correct sentence elements. Je, and then you click enter, see, enter key for a new item. We. Oui. Un, enter, sha, and then we'll give the learner a little hint by putting a period at the end that that's the last word in the sentence. But we may want to populate this with wrong answers. We don't have to, but we can. So I think I've spelled that correctly. That is wazo, it's bird. Actually, I forgot the period on that, so maybe I'll do that again. Wazo. Enter. And maybe I will put two in there. Those are incorrect and those are incorrect answers. And then we can save the problem. And then it gives you a preview of the problem. I think I've done this correctly. 
and then you can add the next problem or you can download this lesson to our form to our format so let's do that now we've just downloaded this and we can take a look at it I think what instead what I'll do is I will take a look at a lesson file that I created recently and we can take a look at it the lesson file is simple and text-based which means that you could create the lesson file which is composed of individual problems by typing directly into a text file or you could use the lesson builder or you could code and automatically create a lot of problems it's up to you so this is a very similar set of problems in this lesson example dot txt this lesson file that I've created so the first line tells you what type of problem it is and this one is SR for simple review the as the star um, indicates that this is a pro this is a problem line and it is something that when you see it in the open words web app it will be displayed to the learner so all three of these lines are to be displayed to the learner Mao the Chinese character and actually the English translation so you don't need that character at all here the next one we've seen is simple sentence and then we have a problem line and then we have four elements which correspond to blanks and the symbol that we use for blanks is an at symbol then the hashtag symbol represents correct answers in order and finally the percentage symbol it corresponds to a line carrying the incorrect answers and let's see if we can take a look at what that problem looks like again let me go in here quickly go back into the open words web app whoops think yeah so this is what this is what this problem looks like inside the open words app so it's open technology it's transparent technology currently it's relatively simple but we're working on a wide variety of new problem problem types and every problem type you'll be able to create it in the lesson builder you'll be able to specify it in a text format and then you'll be able to author it onto the open words app and in another video I'll show you how that's done so thank you very much I hope this was helpful this is a just a first tutorial video if you want to hear more about open words including future crowdfunding campaigns or new releases just click on subscribe thank you very much have a good day